Okay, so um, I guess I'm a little confused as to why my opponents say that our evidence, there's no evidence for Bacalli abortions when there's clearly two um, incidents that stated that were reported and that were illegal. And um, I also want to go over the court order, how the opponents say that that the court order is very successful and but didn't state like how it works or any evidence supporting how it's successful. And I have the direct quote that um, Gloria said that Judge Nixon of the District Court in Tennessee estimated that if it under the best of circumstances, the judicial waiver process would take 22 days to complete, a significant problem given to the time-sensitive nature of pregnancy and the increase, increased risk involved in later abortions. Um, getting a judicial waiver takes a long time, and the longer it takes, the more health risks um, are brought up after the, um, during the abortion. And <clears throat> to get a waiver, like I said, for girls that have been raped, they need the abortion as fast as they can. They can't wait. So to get a waiver just takes more time and causes more problems than it's worth. And um, also, to go over that the parental consent laws will um, stop abuse. That may be true because the the children or the minors are supposed to report what happened. But they, it causes abuse in another way that there's abuse of parents and Gore and I both have stated evidence proving that there's minors out there with abusive parents that will beat them and kick them out if the, um, if the parent found out about their uh, pregnancy. And And I also want to go over the health risks. Abortion is very safe, and um, legal abortions are safe procedures. Infection rates are less than 1%, and fewer than 1 in 100,000 deaths occur from first trimester abortions. So it's a very safe procedure, and in cases where abortion is necessary, um, most likely the child or the minor will not receive any complications, any health risks, and Parental consent laws take more time because if you need that abortion, you can't get it when you want. And then lastly, I want to go over how the opponent mentioned the Roe versus Wade, how it strengthens parental consent laws. It's not up to the parent to decide if, whether their daughter should get an abortion or not. It's not their body. It's not, it has nothing to do with them. It's fully... Um, like, yeah, it's their daughter and everything, but it's their body. Like, they should decide what they can do with their body. And if abortion's the way to go, then they should be allowed to have that. People should, parents should be able to respect their decision to have an abortion. And, um, also, I want to, like, discuss how um, abortion rates are actually decreasing and um, I have a quote. Okay, I have one more quote. It says most this is from Planned Parenthood, most seventy seven most um, seventy seven percent of the reduction in pregnancy rates among minors was the result of an improved contraceptive use among sexually active minors during Major 23% was attributable to some minors waiting longer to initiate sex. So, overall, abortion rates are declining. Abortion rates are higher in older women. So, to have consent laws is kind of unnecessary and unneeded. Thank you.